so I was talking for a few minutes and I have no idea what got cut off. <laughs> I'm dealing with a crisis myself, so my phone's been ringing off the hook and I couldn't put it on airplane because I was dealing with the crisis. Okay, so back to the cards, the very last ones. Pathway, the direction that you were going, your destination. And then we have Princess of Swords. So there's a lot of people that are keeping their eyes on you. Okay. This is spying. So it could be that people will be checking in with you to see how you're doing. Or you may be under a watchful eye when you get home or at home. So you could be grounded or restricted or limited in some kind of way. They could um, mimic prison. So there's some kind of punishment that is being doled out here. You know, funny, this morning This morning, I had heard the phrase breathing down your back, and I didn't write that in there. I might have said it earlier. I'm not too sure. But, yeah, breathing down your back. So Princess of Swords can be like somebody breathing down your back. You're now being watched. You're now being observed. I was going to say, can we clarify the Princess of Swords? Oh, Seven of Swords. You know you're being watched. You don't want to be watched, but that's where you placed yourself. You're now under observation or you're under, um, I want to say, a warranty period. <laughs> so this could be a, I know they're watching me or I'm going to be watching you from now on. I mean, I'm hearing the silent observer. So they may not know somebody's watching them, but they are, you know, once you get busted, they're always going to look at you, right? They're going to be checking up on you because they're going to, they're like, you're an easy mark. You're an easy target. I can always get this person. I can always get to this person. Now you're going to have to watch your and also too whatever it is that you're doing you're being forced to stop or you're being limited uh, from doing something so this can be breaking away okay some of you guys are being watched by NSA, either NSA, Homeland Security, or the Men in Black. Some, uh, this could be paranoia. Somebody's. It's possible that you may feel like your house is being watched or your movements are being watched. Or you could be watched because you belong to a particular group or stereotype or label. I, I don't know why I'm hearing double-edged sword. So somebody is making sure that you abstain, and it could be a friend, somebody in your friend group, or a partner. This person could have a, a tattoo of a star. Yeah, so you're going to get, um, I saw what you're doing, or you are seen doing this, and you're going to get some sharp words.
disappointed at the amount of videos I had to break up in order to make this one. I'm so sorry, guys. That's just how it rolls. Okay. Oh, bits and pieces, right? That Capricorn energy. Crumbs. <laughs> poverty. Okay, poverty is reversed. So usually it means not being able to meet the basic needs, but you can meet the basic needs or not being able to meet your need is coming to an end so this could be somebody's watching you to make sure that you don't get your fix whatever it is your obsession or addiction or compulsion can we get a final outcome please oh. uh -oh. Ooh. that came out like that made me pause to look at it let's see Ooh. okay this was reversed too this whole thing was reversed and then this is adding to that so i feel like i shouldn't read it as a reversed i should read it as part of this later so they could be like i'm not dependent or I'm innocent, or I didn't do it, or I can quit anytime I want to. And also, not blaming anybody else. So taking sole responsibility or having to take sole responsibility and being blasted. And I, and I heard blasphemer, blas, blasphemous, blasphemy. So you messed up pretty good. Like you went against what, what this Facebook says. This goes against community standards. <laughs> so this is kind of like. This goes against community standards. So you could be like grounded. You could be uh, grounded on Facebook. You could be in Facebook jail. So it's kind of like a probationary period for an extended amount of time. Somebody's observing you or somebody's watching you to make sure you don't do something or to make sure that you do do something. Okay. You're not making, you haven't made any promises. You just have to be patient and with time this lesson will disappear okay so if if there is an issue with a child this child could be a teenager and they could be getting ready to move into some kind of new or different cycle to where they're not so concerned they just have to wait it out so there's definitely a an ending the ending of a period where you temporarily have to restrain yourself and be patient and then you can hang out with those people again then you can be whatever it is you want to be again um, a mover a shaker a stoner a baker <laughs> a drinker uh, whatever it is you used to party with your friends So yeah, so for some of you guys, there's this downtime. Um, you could ha you could have had medical issues that caused you to be out. Issues with your hips or your thighs. fire and ship behavior analysis okay behavior analysis I got earlier so this could be you know taking taking a, a me day this is a me day taking time off for yourself what um, 
If your child's in school, it may be called a mental health day. So you get a short break for a minute. You may end up being a patient. Or I'm just waiting on a friend. Or you could be waiting on your friends. In the end, everything kind of works out. And uh, I want to say justice ends up getting served. You're alerted. You're now consciously aware of the road you must travel. Okay, this bridge has passed. You were lucky enough to conquer it. A lot of it was because you were patient and you admitted you took responsibility for what you did. So this is a good thing. This is a good thing. You learned your lesson. You've learned your lesson. And now you have to focus on the future. Malio, to heed. Focus. Okay, and it's a number 41. So it's not necessarily declaring something, but it's a grounding expression. I just have to be patient and wait till it's over. My intention is to stay true to my core values. Oh, and it's also, I deserve it. It's my fault. I deserve it. I went too far. Or you broke the law. <laughs> you renegade you. <laughs> my intention is to stay true to my core values by focusing my energy on things that are in alignment with my heart and soul. What you give your attention to matters. Everything you think, say, love, and do matters and is left as an imprint on the planet and throughout your lineage. When you give your attention to something, you attract energy and support from the universe. By choosing to focus on the things that are in alignment with your core values, you will heed your life's purpose and stay true to your calling. Okay, so don't let things distract you. Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah, you took responsibility for it. Yeah, now you've got to pay the price. But you know what? The price that you have to pay will eventually end and you can move on and move forward. All you have to do is be patient throughout your lesson. Okay. All right, you guys, that's all I got for you today. Sorry about the bunch of mixed videos and bits and pieces. That is the Capricorn energy, right? <laughs> Snippets. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you guys later. Take care.